Uh, here's the king with our Kristen Ludlow. I love that I got you early in the day. You're yeah, I got a lot of energy right now. You're still in a good mood. I am. I am. The last time we talked, you had just come back from down 3-1 in the NBA Finals. So I actually don't have any more questions for you. We can talk about anything you want. You got anything on your mind? Or? Uh, I don't know. How about the fact that you went and visit Arsenal and not Liverpool? Oh. Um, you, want, you want to talk about that? We don't have to talk about that right now. Well, he gave me an Arsenal jersey. So, but it was I mean, a, I... The Liverpool thing. I thought we were like, you know what, we talk about that no, later? No, okay. we can discuss it later. Later. You have had a chance, though, to step back. And I know that you always say you're going to wait until your playing career is done to reflect. But yes. we know what it means to the people here in yeah. Northeast Ohio, what you did. What did this mean to you? I think it meant everything. Um, you know, to the people here in Northeast Ohio, if you were a Cleveland sports fan from the 1950s, you've seen so much happen over the course of the years. And, and Jim Brown, what he was able to do to bring a championship here in the, in the 60s. And then 50 plus years go by where you have so much turmoil, you know, from the from the drive to the fumble to the, you know, Jose Mesa not being able to close out in the bottom of the ninth to the Jordan to the shot. To, to everything, you know, that's went on in Cleveland sports history. And for us to be able to finally be able to say this is no curse, it's just timing, you know, and it was a perfect timing. And for me to be a part of history, uh, it, it meant a lot for me to be a part of it, the guys as well. And then for all the fans around here and all over the world, too, to be able to say, hey, you know, I went so many places this summer and it was like, hey, I'm from Cleveland. I'm from Northeast Ohio. I just want to say thank you to you and your teammates for doing what you did. It meant a, it meant a lot. There's no point in asking you what specifically you did in your off-season workouts because he's not going to tell us. I promise you that. <laughs> but what is it that motivated you this summer? Um, yeah, I, I just think the position I'm in, I still have an opportunity to continue to get better and give back to the game. And, and while I have the opportunity to do that until I hang it up, I'm, I'm motivated. I'm motivated by getting better. I'm motivated by being on the court and being you know, one of the greats that ever played this game. So those are like some of my personal motivation traits. And uh, just being back on the floor, being back here with my guys, seeing them today, that motivates me too because they, they look at me as their leader and, uh, you know, I got a job to do. Opening night, we're back at the queue. The Knicks are also back at the queue. Same thing as two years ago, but then they were celebrating your homecoming. Now they're celebrating a championship. What are you most looking forward to about that night? Uh, just seeing the smiles on my teammates' faces and hearing the roar of our fans. Uh, that's the that's the main thing, you know, being able to see my teammates get their reign to see, you know, how much when you put in a lot of hard work, this is the benefit of it. And then seeing the smiles on the team's faces, I mean, on, on my fans faces when they just see that that moment happen. It's something they've been waiting for for a long time. And, uh, you know, for me, like I said, to know I have something to do with it uh, means a lot. It's still a long way until Christmas Day, but an NBA Finals rematch yet again. How does Kevin Durant change that matchup for you? Uh, I don't think it changes uh, for me. Um, I mean, the Golden State Warriors is a great team. They've been a great team for the last few years, so it didn't matter who were in uniform. You know, you know, Coach Kerr going to have those guys ready. You know, Draymond and Steph and Clay, uh, they're going to have those guys ready. I think it adds another, um, you know, beast. I mean, he, Kevin Durant is an is a, is a MVP in our league, is a scoring champ, a uh, great player. So um, it adds just another challenge, which Golden State already had plenty of. So it should be fun. But... Uh, not only just Christmas Day, but all the other games as well this year. It's going to be so challenging, and uh, we look forward to all of them. We will see you opening night. Have fun the rest of the day. All right, thank you. Thanks for coming to me in such a good mood. <laughs> I'm in a great mood right now. You got me early. <laughs> I'll see you soon.